Hey guys, did you know that the famous gin and tonic came out of India and it was the mosquito that was responsible for it? Yes, you heard me right. Keep watching to know more. Gin was first made in Netherlands. The Dutch made this drink from the berries of this particular tree called the juniper tree. The British, however, discovered this drink much later when they were at war with the Dutch. Well, what happened? The British found that the Dutch soldiers fought extremely courageously. On examining why, they found out that the Dutch soldiers were intoxicated with gin before they got on to battle. And that's how the phrase, the Dutch courage originated, which stands for the excessive confidence one has when they drink a lot of alcohol. Haven't we all experienced that? Britain went crazy about gin. So much so, in the 1700s, more than a quarter of London's population was making gin at home, making this the nation's favorite drink. In fact, the British Parliament had to pass an act called the Gin Act just to control the consumption of gin. Moving on to tonic, short for tonic water. For this, let's go to South America. Here, the local people in Peru revered this particular tree called the Chinchona tree. Why? Because quinine, which is an extract from the bark of this tree, was a cure for the deadly disease, malaria. And the tropics was rampant with it. Much later, a Swiss watchmaker who was fascinated by quinine went on to run a bunch of experiments. He mixed quinine with carbonated water and sugar to make a drink called the tonic water. Who was this gentleman? JJ Schweppes. Yes, and that's how you have the Schweppes tonic water, which back then was sold as a cure for malaria. The British, when they were in India, were busy not just fighting the local Indian kings, but also fighting the Indian mosquito. Like in the South, when the British defeated Tipu, they took over his capital Shirangapatna as their base. But they were actually driven out by the mosquitoes there. And that's how Bangalore became a British base. To fight malaria, the British soldiers were forced to have copious amounts of tonic water. But there was one problem. Quinine was extremely bitter making tonic water not too enjoyable to drink. That's when the British soldiers in India began mixing gin to tonic water. This way, they not just fought malaria, but they also enjoyed their favorite drink. A deadly combination, isn't it? At its peak, the British Empire would have ruled a quarter of the world, but it was defeated by the tiny Indian mosquito. And that's how the world got this iconic drink, the gin and tonic. So the next time you're enjoying your gin and tonic, don't forget to raise a toast to the humble mosquito. Cheers.